Now that you've taken a look at mail, let's take a look at the contact list. If you go to contacts under your mail label, um, over here on the left hand side you'll see my contacts and you'll see most contacted and other contacted and those types of things. Um, right now we're going to add a new contact. You click on new contact and you can just type in someone's name. So I'm going to add Scott Sweet um, and Scott, his information is in our system but it's not showing anything so I'm going to put in his work email address because we know what it is. Now I wouldn't have to do this for people in the district but I'm going to do that just to illustrate um, that it's there. Um, you'll also see that because he's in the district and he has a profile, his information will come in based on his email address. So if you put somebody in the district in, um, you'll get some more information about, about him. I'm going to do another new contact and I'm going to add Rhonda Lucci and I'm going to go ahead and put her email address in and when I do that her information probably will come in as well and we look at that we can see oh here's some information about Rhonda you'll notice in my contacts then they show up in the list um, you can do that for people on the outside world as well you can add anybody you want to your address book um, a little bit later on we'll make a video on how you can bring your contacts from first class over into Google as well. But at this point I'm going to create a group. So I'm going to type new or click new group and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to call this group technology support teachers and I'm going to create that group and I'm going to notice it's going to show up over on the left hand side. Here's that group. So what I can do is I can select both Rhonda and Scott and I can go up to my icon here for groups and I can put them in my technology support teachers group. That way when I go to send an email message I can just say send it to the technology support teachers and they'll both get it. Um, it would also work for when I want to share documents or share a calendar or do some things like that, I can use my my contact group to help communicate with those people as well. So that's how you add contacts, that's how you create a new group. Um, you'll also see the directory there. The directory would be anybody in the district. And then there's other contacts, like we talked about before, other contacts would be anybody that you've sent email to it will remember those. So at that point then you can create your own contact groups uh, for emailing parents, for emailing colleagues, those types of things.